Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Morgan and bid you all welcome back to Elix. If you all recall from last time, we tried to uh, make a foray into the Valley of Death or whatever the hell this is called. And, yep, it's clearly named for a good reason because we don't stand a chance here. So we are going to retreat. Don't even need to do it this way, I can just do it from here. We still do need to speak with them man named Baron or something. I think he's on the other side of this dam here. If you see Ray anywhere, then you let me know, okay? And that happened again. I tried to disable Windows from doing the stupid thing where it says, oh, do you want to change your color scheme to basic? And uh, for some reason, even though I changed it to never do that, it still does it. And we have big bad spine hounds to worry about. Crying out loud. Thank goodness this dude with his pipe wrench is uh, forced to be reckoned with. So he saved our ass. Really do need to level up some more, but we don't have anything to invest in our character right now. But such is life. Let us. Don't mind me. I believe the man we're looking for. Oh, I guess we can't get across here, but we can snag some loot. It's better than nothing. Can't squeeze out of there. Seems like a kind of random bridge. So, kind of sucks that a lot of what we need to do out here seems to be in very dicey areas. Some nasty beasts. Definitely leveling up is not as quick as you might think from a conventional RPG. So I can understand why a lot of people jumping into this for the first time were probably put off by the difficulty curve. But I do like... The, um, the reflections I get from Gothic 2, the way you basically didn't stand a chance against anything for a good long while. It's actually made me really excited to start my new walkthrough for Gothic 2, which will not be happening anytime soon, I'm afraid. I have to finish this, of course, and all the other... Oh shit, there's two of them. All the other walkthroughs I'm doing. At least these are runts. Crying out loud. <laughs> yeah, eat shit. <laughs> These things aren't too bad. What is happening? Oh, no. Oh, no. Fucking bullshit keyboard. Okay. So, um... I have this nice, really nice uh, Steel Series mechanical keyboard that I bought when I built this PC. And unfortunately, a lot of the... Uh, keys on the right side of the keyboard have started getting really sticky, and I don't know why because I don't recall spilling anything on this thing But it's been a huge pain in the ass and uh, Unfortunately the arrow keys have somehow gotten stuck and it took me a little while there to Get those back out, but I was trying to figure out what the hell was going on why um, My character seemed to be running in circles when I wasn't trying to do anything but that's all it was. So I just got to remember not to touch the arrow keys anymore. Seems kind of weird in this day and age that uh, the arrow keys are even bound to anything by default, considering no one really uses them anymore. But I know there are people who still do. I don't think I've used arrow keys to control anything since back in the days of, like, the 90s FPS. Like, uh... 
Duke Nukem or something. It's been WASD ever since. Okay, I'm not sure. This guy's quite a distance away. I think I actually passed where I meant to go. Yep, I did. Huh, wasn't even close. Following the wrong arrow. Oh. Okay, so we're back to the observatory. Not where I wanted to go. Explains why some of the enemies around here are so weak. Yet others are strangely tough. Okay, so the arrow I want to follow is this way. Yeah, I said it before, I'll say it again. I don't like the uh, use of quest markers. Especially when there's very little distinction between what they are. And what the hell is this guy's problem? You're the gentleman I'm looking for. I don't know what you're all in a hissy fit about. Really wanted this raptor, I guess, so... Guess I better make sure he survives. Oh, I hit him. That's not good. This stupid thing now. Ah, what the hell are you doing? Why are there so many? Alright, relax. See, that's a, that's a problem, and this was a problem in Risen 3 as well. I'm surprised they haven't fixed it. Um, if, a, if, if an NPC is not tagged as friendly, then you can actually hit them in combat unintentionally. And the good thing is, since I didn't hit him too many times, he didn't aggro, but that's what happened with Garen earlier. Um, I accidentally hit him a few times, and he ended up getting aggroed on me. Nothing to do? <clears throat> what? Who are you? What do you want? Who goes there? I go here. I don't know. It should be pretty obvious. I'm sitting right here. Are you a guard? Well, stop asking questions and answer them. Who are you? You're lucky I'm not an enemy. Well, you know. I don't think I'd be much of a threat if I was. These trees, is it? If there's one thing the elves know, we got a lot of it's trees, and it's not like these trees do much. I mean, they're not going to run away while I'm asleep, are they? Did Master Thorold send you? Is there something important? Because if not, just go, okay? What makes you think Thorold the Pilgrim sent me? When he was still the big boss up there in Goliath, he used to reprimand me quite often. I wondered if he was still keeping an eye on me. Still, whatever. I've heard he's retreated into study. Let him play with his magic. I hope it does save us. And while he's away, I have my peace and quiet out here. What do you know about Thorold's retreat? Not much. It's said that he is working on a plan to stop the Alps. It's something huge that would change the war in all of Magellan. You think it? It happens. The Alps are screwed. Just <laughs> like that. No idea what it is, though. But nobody is really allowed to talk about it. Well, then nobody even really understands what he's doing anyway. Where is Pilgrim Thorold? Well, that is confidential. Meaning, if anyone actually knows, no one is actually saying. Maybe he will figure out how to rob the elves of their magical strength, at least. Then good, honest warriors could go back to sleeping in nice, comfortable beds. Now there is a future that Magellan should be fighting for. Funny, that wasn't your vision of the future until just recently. I need to ask you about Ascor's murder. I can't tell you anything about that. Not anything that's not being said already. He should have kept his head down like me. Ambition only gets you dead. He should have picked his spot and stayed there. Why are you interested in that? Really? Ascor's body was found near here. 
you see it? No. I know where he was found. But no, I didn't. And I'm glad I didn't see him. I wouldn't want to remember him like that. My duties keep me here most of the time. So I stay looking after my girls, the trees, making sure they stay safe. Where do you go when you do get away? Nearby. Not Goliad, if that's what you mean. I tend to stay out here these days. Where nearby? The lift into the Valley of the Damned. That's a good place to relax. There's quite the view of the valley there. It's a good place to let your worries just drift away. Hmm. Did you know Ascor well? Since we were old enough to crawl, our parents were friends. We grew up like brothers. You look quite strong for somebody who's just standing around all day. Maybe. And? Have you been trained to use that sword? All berserkers are. You think I could survive out here if I couldn't use it? Tell me what you do know about the murder. Me? I only know what people are saying. That they thought Ascor had run away, but he hadn't. He'd been murdered somewhere out in the forest. I was out here at the time, on guard duty. Did anyone see you? Is there anyone who can give you an alibi? Hilda. She was with me all night. Her and Alva, and Dagny, and Erica, Freya, Garrett, Hagee, Magda. They're the trees over there. Oh, jeez. They're my girls. It's very lonely out here. So no, I have no alibi. I hope you find who did it. Maybe you did it. You knew him. You don't have an alibi. Well, why would I kill him? He was my friend. Why should I believe you? Because it, it sounds like you're doing something about this. Like you want to find out who did it. You should start with people who had a problem with him, not his friends. Your friend Ascor, what kind of man was he? Well, he wasn't a simple guy. He was my friend. Our parents were friends. We basically grew up as brothers. But he was sort of ambitious, and that sometimes, well, made him an ass. Listen, it doesn't matter. Just forget what I said. Ambition could give a motive, if he got in someone's way. Well, don't look at me. I'm happy where I am. I don't give a troll's ass about promotion. Mm, I find that a little suspicious, but... I'd rather get out of here. He seems like a lonely guy, way too obsessed with his trees. I don't want to see what he does with them in private. Looks like we got two towers here. I don't think I checked this one for... any loot. Forbidden arrow. It is dark in here, and I cannot see what I'm doing. Much better than taking the ladder. Yoink! <laughs> they spelled it wrong. It was small elixir bag. That's kind of hilarious. Uh oh. How could he be so stupid? I don't know. I just kind of roll with Nobody things. Nobody to me. I don't know why I even bother sometimes. Ooh, free wine. Uh, All right, well... You, you know. Yeah? You don't seem to care too much, so I'm just helping myself. So we still need to find... Who's this other guy? That kind of way... Oh, no, there's two other guys, and I think they're both... Thorgal and... Rock. Alright, so I don't think we're going to worry about that just yet, because they're all the way in Abessa, or whatever the hell. So, what other quests do we have? Uh, yeah. Let's go back to Goliath, I suppose. I think we got some more business to be done there. Actually, kind of surprising that there is not a loading screen for transitions there. Even uh, the first Risen had it. When Gothic didn't. I guess Risen... Risen might have had loading screens as you were, like, moving around, kind of the way, like, uh, the Elder Scrolls does. I never really paid close enough attention. 
Gothic 3 tried to go completely without loading screens, basically rendering the whole, um, like, the major assets of the game all at once, and that's kind of why there's a lot of hot garbage. This game, I'm not sure how they um, optimized it, but it's definitely a lot better. I don't care about the damn clerics. Bunch of fanatics. Uh, we need to s go to the pit. I think it's this way. I have words with you. I found the outlaw. Is he dead? No. I talked to him. Talked? Why did you talk? What did he say? He wants you to start trading with him again. Trading? What What trading? What What are you talking about? If I was trading, that would be against the law. I mean, I'd be a dead man. About the outlaw. W what? What about him? Why did you stop trading with him? I wasn't trading. Trading would be illegal. Elix technology is forbidden. Trading without a license is forbidden. Trading with people outside Goliath is forbidden. Anyway, I mean, that stuff was junk. I wasn't doing any harm. And Angram is monitoring the Elix oscillations in the area. Uh-huh. Okay, so I guess... Hmm, that kind of sucks. I don't want to give him any money. We'll come back to that once I have a bit more negotiating diplomacy prowess. All right now, I don't want to throw my hard-earned Elexit at him. Just to negotiate a deal for somebody else. Man, it's going to be a while before we can do a lot of this. You in trouble. Put it away or dispose of it. Fuck you. Uh, we do still have learning points. I haven't been able to use them just because they cost money to use, but... Hey, what's that you're hiding there? None of your business. What are you talking about? There, on your arm. What is that? It's an adjuder. Haven't you seen one before? I've seen one. I've seen several. It's Elix technology, and that sort of device is forbidden to berserkers here in Goliath. Carrying a piece like that openly on your arm could get you into trouble. You want to take it, you'll have to cut my arm off. Right. Well, your arm is safe for me, but don't go showing that thing around. Others who are stricter with the law might see chopping your arm off to keep the law as a price worth paying. Still, best you know that should you find any other Elix technology on your travels, you should take it to the pit for disposal. Oh, you mean like this? You Dorcas. I'd like to know how, how he finds the, the computer embedded in my arm somehow more obvious than the jetpack that is mounted to my back. How do you get anything done without technology? We haven't rejected technology completely. We have rejected Elix technology. And as you can see around you, we have done fine without it. A clean life. Life as it was before the comet. Life grown from mana. Now, that's a better use for Elix than building devices. So, we collect technology, extract the Elix from it, and throw the scrap into the pit. So, you extract Elix just like the Alps? You're comparing us to those inhuman creatures? Those monsters throw people into their converters. Alive or dead, it doesn't matter to them. We cure the soil of Elix's poison and use it for healing. You will find our healers on the upper ring. They'll show you how we use its power. So I just kind of have to point out that I, I don't... One of the things that's hard to sort of dis, suspend my disbelief on, I don't get how so much technology, at least as far as the Berserkers are concerned, seems to depend on Elex, especially considering that Elex only showed up after the apocalypse. So how much technology was actually produced with it? And why does it seem like a lot of mo the modern infrastructure before the disaster seems to have somehow depended on it to the point that they are scrapping all of that? Like, oh, what's stopping them from using just like a diesel engine or something? I don't really get it. 
Why not do this and use technology? You sound like one of those technophiles, looking forward and not knowing their history. Listen, there are books from the Great Fall that say there were other ways to power machines, but that most of them poisoned the air and the soil. And so, Amric and the Forefathers decreed that all technology that poisoned our world should be forbidden. And, right at the time machines were forsworn, and we started to make Magalan pure again, mana was given to us. Magic is nature's reward for our rejection of technology. And if you have magic, why would you want technology? So the Alps pump Elix into themselves, the clerics feed it to machines, and we transmute it into magic. I guess that kind of explains that. Uh, kind of a funny coincidence that I had that question right as he gives us the answer. Surely technology makes life easier. Such is temptation. The Alps take Elix. They get stronger, but what have they become? Victorious. They're beating you. In the short term. They don't even know what they're fighting for. How can they ever be victorious if they let themselves become machines? They have a love of Elix, a need for it. But as to why? If we knew that, perhaps we could talk with them. But they have retreated into Zaycor, only to be seen when they come to kill. And they're changing, becoming less human. While our mana helps us cast magic, it's toxic to the Alps. But Alps can cast magic. Yes, yes. Now there is something I don't understand. Hmm. Perhaps I have the answer, but I'm conveniently withholding it. So if you need Elix, why do you want to get rid of it? Ah, Amrex Paradox. We are told Elix is the center of all ills in the world, and yet it is also the cure. So we collect it, transmute it, and hope we can win the race against those who would use it for destruction. You could help us with that. Oh, yeah? Why should I help you? I understand. There is a war on. But we must all work together to end it. Please, just hear me out. You must have seen that monster made of metal that sits on the horizon. That Alb converter. What about it? The Albs built it to refine Elix here in Edan. But our warriors forced them to abandon it. That machine is a thing abhorrent to nature. But we can make use of it. Well, of the Elix in it. Amrex Paradox. Let's take that horror and make it magic. It won't be an easy task, but I need to get some parts from the converter that have a high Elix concentration in them. Can you do that? Uh, I don't think I can do it on my own. And if I get caught bringing Elix into Goliath? You have my absolute word that this is official business. I told you, we need this. Amrek and the Pilgrim agree. Magic is nature's cure. Technology, its curse. The world hearts will purify Magalan without the need for machines. It's up to us to tidy up the mess that those machines have already made. If Elix is so bad, why do you trade using Elixit? You mean, why not turn it into mana? It's Elix, isn't it? Yes, but the concentration in it is just too low to produce mana. Maybe one day we'll manage it, but until then... It's useful. Everyone spends it, so we do too. I'm glad it's the Pilgrim and the Warlord who have to decide all these things. It makes my head hurt. So, you won't be confiscating my Alexit? Oh, we need as much of it as possible to buy the things we need. So, please, trade while you're here. So I've asked this question before. I kind of wonder what like trading relationships they have with the other factions, considering they seem to be at war with pretty much all of them. And if that's the case, what value does currency have if it's only used within your local community and has no tangible value within it? So I don't, I don't really get it, but uh, I don't know. They just do what they do. I will get you the converter parts you want. Good. Great. Thank you. Be careful, though. Last guy we sent disappeared. He promised he'd be back quickly. Never seen again. Hmm. I'm sure I'll manage much better than he did. Let us... This is private property. That was an accident. Okay, I didn't actually grab it. Thank God. Oh, I can't use the bed, you asshole. 
Can I use this one? I thought I accidentally grabbed that chalice on the ground, but it looks like I rotated the camera just in time. Excuse with me. I've had enough chatting with that guy. I don't want to talk to him for a while. Ooh, flame leaf. Um, I mean, we can try making another expedition to that converter, but that worked out pretty horribly last time. Uh, where exactly was it? It was, it was kind of near-ish, the small camp. I'm not sure how much of this place we haven't seen yet. I haven't been very far to the north or to the east. Yeah, grab it. Okay, that's... Is that the converter over there? I think so. I understand a lot of people saying they uh, kind of dislike how the jetpack trivializes fall damage. I honestly don't care. I just I like being able to take shortcuts and just travel quickly. And I don't ever find that it is much of a danger in um, like tight situations like in combat, but... Definitely, I understand the concern that it makes it too easy to escape tougher enemies. But in all honesty, running away from enemies is no different than just dying and reloading. Just spares me a bit of inconvenience. See, how'd you move before you even saw me? The biggest problem with the um, the combo like special attack is that you cannot you cannot combo string it the way you can with the other attacks. So it can like you can start losing your combo meter before you even get to pull it off, and that that really annoys me about it. Got another horn dog. Hopefully this is just a young one. Nope. Okay, we're fucked. Blah, 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 blah. How the hell did you hit me? Ah, you're a bitch. He's gonna spit. Run, you fool. God damn it. Whoa. Fuck, I hate these things so much. <sighs> Why is it so hard to level up in this game? Where the hell am I? There's some kind of radio tower here, or a big power line... Tower. Oh, this is familiar. Oh, you bitch. I'm not sure what the hell just happened there. Yeah, 
Yeah, the balancing of, like, combat experience to quest XP is very... There's a huge disparity there, and I'm not sure how much I like that. So it means just, like, grinding and farming is pretty much meaningless. I think there was one... That, yeah, there's a big old raptor thing over there. Thing is, one combo string takes care of them. Now, I have gotten myself lost. Where am I? Ooh, that is a strange sci fi looking construction there. And it's a troll. Oh, it's one of them weird trolls. Ones with like the. Robo arms, and that's another weird thing. Oh god, what horrifying monstrosities. Um, where is this converter? There's some something, something over there. Is that that uh, Reaver camp? Why don't we take a look? Well, there's a lot of raptors over there. Oh. It's a ballista. Looks like somebody was here. What was that? I've been in position here before. Last time I saw ice on the converter year-round. Now the converter's been shut down completely. It's gone. Was it so cold because of the elix? The owls did extract a lot of elix there. Could it have been such a large amount that it became considerably colder here? Is that why Zaycor is frozen? The questions of the day. So I didn't realize you got experience for reading these. I guess I should do that more often. Ooh. But I guess the converter is around here. Well, that's just lovely. Oh, piranha bites. You and your collision deficiencies. What on earth is that? Okay, it looks like a old oil drilling site or something. I don't know why they built so many barricades that don't actually protect anything. There's probably some awful people around here. Okay, there's the converter. Whoa, where the hell did you come from? Yeah, eat shit. Hmm. Oh, well, this was a fortress at some point. I don't know if anyone's still... Oh, radioactive. Okay. Guess we're not exploring that right now. Ooh. Pick up some plants. Looks like we got some elix just sprouting from the ground here. 
Okay, we are going to hold off on that, because I want to get my prospecting skill before we uh, waste the uh, potential for some huge rewards from that. So it's weird that these, um, these chickens here seem to have less health than the critters and yet give more experience. Okay. Definitely looks like uh, some kind of settlement here. Actually, I think these are the Reavers. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the Reaver camp, so let's avoid that for now. Okay, we got our... Oh, here's somebody. You friendly? You are. There's nothing here for you but misery. Be on your way. What's wrong with you? Why ever you came, take my advice and leave. Forget this cursed place. I'm here to help you. I was sent by the workers in Goliath. Yeah, and I'm the pilgrim. You better start listening to me. I carry the curse that has tainted this place. And what? you will be cursed if you stay here too. What curse? Are you threatening me? Threatening? I'm warning you. Wherever I go, the mutants follow. And then Yora sends me here to find the converter parts. And so the mutants come again. And it doesn't matter what I do, I can't get to the parts. Once again, I can't complete the task I was given. So I can't go back. With all this failure, exile to the Valley of the Dam must follow. I am looking for converter parts. Then you were sent after me? No. Jorah didn't mention you. He kinda did. He didn't. But that it has been a long time. He must have thought me dead. Jorah didn't mention mutants. Jorah doesn't leave Goliath often. Probably thinks the converter is empty because the Albs abandoned it. He doesn't know that the Albs left their mutants here to tear the flesh from any who came after them. You could tell Jorah about the mutants. With everything that's happened? Now I fail another task he's given me. I'll be exiled to the Valley of the Damned in no time. I might as well stay here and keep the mutants away from others. Did you find any converter parts here? Oh, yes. The Albs left the converter in full working order. They didn't expect such a fierce attack from the Berserkers, or I suppose they would have rigged the place to self-destruct. But then the Berserkers didn't expect mutants to move in here so quickly. Now this place belongs to neither Alb nor Berserker. It's the home of the mutants. And me. <laughs> Unless I can find the rest of the converter parts. If I could get those converter parts, they would save me from exile. Well, it's inconvenient that we showed up. I'll get you converter parts if you pay me. I've been paying every day this curse has been on me. So yeah, I'll pay you the few shards I have if you help me break it. Why didn't you bring a weapon? I did. I had a club, but I lost it the second time I went in there. If I'd climbed down to get it, they would have cut me off and killed me. Say, if you're going in there, could you look for it? Why should I put myself in danger for you? You're here for your own reasons. If you already decided to go in there, then bringing that back would give me more of a chance. Please, my life could be in your hands. Uh, I was hoping you could help me get in there, but evidently you're worth less than shit. I will find your club. Thank you. Thank you. It's in the pit by the converter. I will. Right. Right, I'll be waiting here. Well, maybe we can get him that and then he'll help us, but... Clan soup. Ew. Okay, well, we got a lot of, a lot of food now, at least. Okay, well, how horrible are these mutants? Okay, just a clumsy boar. Can't seem to hit the fucker, though. Hey, you're trying some fancy shit? Oh, God, you got me. Oh, he does have a weapon, you dumb shit. Shit. 
Shit. Hey, get his attention, please. Cause I gotta heal. And I can't see. Damn, you kicked that thing's ass better than I did. Sorry, my alarm was going off. See, you, you can fight better than I can. Why can't you help me out in here? Even with your stupid lead pipe or whatever the hell you got. Okay, well, we do have a jetpack. It shouldn't be too hard to get in there. I see. What is an item scanner? Single use elb item scanner spell. Okay, so it's magic. Now I wonder how elb magic works since it's not the same as berserker magic or cleric magic. Is it something that anyone can use? Okay, well, there's a lot of rats. I don't know how bad the rats are. Well, easy now. It's a little unnecessary. The music score changed a bit. Slightly more ominous. That was spooky. This is a bit bigger than I thought it was. I don't think there's any climbing yet. Not from the outside, at least. Ooh. That's a big no. There must be a way inside. Well, at least I have a safe point here. Maybe I can climb it. Depends on how the collision works on this strut here. Nope. Bollocks. Okay, that's not quite going to happen. Hmm. Whoa! I don't think that was a smart idea, you jackass. The hell are you just walking up there for anyway? Oh, you're kidding me. I don't stand a chance here. Oh my god. Okay, well, at least they're fighting the mutants, too. Oh, come on. I'm helping you. Ow. Crap, now that one's got a gun on me. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I can just run in there. Ah! Climb, you fool. Go. Ha ha. Victory is mine. Ah! Bollocks. Ooh. Well, none of that really went according to the plan. I was not expecting to just be thrown into a cutscene in the middle of nowhere. But, uh... Alright, well, now we know what to expect. It's kind of bullshit that it forces us into that encounter instead of a just for the sake of that cutscene, instead of allowing us to kind of sneak our way in, but... 
whatever. We'll, we'll figure out a plan of attack. But that's going to happen next time, ladies and gentlemen. So thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe to me here or to my stream archive channel and follow me on Twitch as well. Links in the description below. And until next time, have yourselves a wonderful night.